this presentation we are looking at cobra spares. The spares that we will be looking at are the different head parts, the demand and metering head parts, your single lever cartridges, your flushmaster spares, electronic taps and spares, and then your geyser valves and their spares. So how do you know what size head part to use on your taps? Well, you use a 1 rand, a 2 rand or a 5 rand coin. As on the picture, if you put the coin in where your head part has just come out, that's where the thread is, the engagement part. So if a 1 rand coin fits in best, then it is a 15 millimeter light pattern. If a 2 rand fits in, it is a 15 heavy pattern and a 5 rand is a 20 heavy pattern but you may ask now what about the 20 or 3 quarter light pattern well your 15 heavy pattern and your 20 light pattern use exactly the same head parts remember in this case now we are not looking at the size of the tap itself but there are just those three basic sizes of head parts let's look at them in more detail so the first one then is your 15 millimeter light pattern and you will see that the sales number starts with a 6, either 61 or 63. The short one, 61, is used for any tap that is exposed and the 63 is for anything that is built into the wall. For obvious reasons you need a longer spindle to clear the tile and the plaster and still have enough space on the spindle then for your handle at the end of the day. Your 15 millimeter heavy pattern and 20 light pattern starts with an 8. Once again you have the short and the long version and then we have an anomaly. We have the one that starts with a 2, a 2-1 two and that is for your medical taps. All the Cobra medical taps are 15 millimeter heavy pattern. That also tells you that anywhere where you have a 81 head part, you can replace it with a 21 head part as long as the head part is in the position like it is there with a the spindle in the vertical position and the handle rotating in a horizontal arc. The reason for that is if the handle had to stand out to the side, the gravity will pull on it because it's a long heavy handle and the tap will open or close itself. You then have your 20 millimeter heavy pattern which again is the 9 and then ending with a 1 or a 3 for the exposed or concealed taps there. Your garden hose tap, there are three different head parts there. You have your 15 millimeter heavy pattern, your 20 heavy pattern and your 15 light pattern. The 15 millimeter heavy and light do not have o-ring seal uh, uh, glands in there anymore. It only has an o-ring seal there. So only the 20 millimeter still has that gland where you can tighten it if the tap is leaking. Your loose key taps, that is for your garden tap the 108 LK and the stop tap the 121 LK they use both the same head parts and they're available in 15 and 20 millimeter and the 15 millimeter is the one that is pictured there the S minus 14 RB slash LK your demand head part you may ask in what size tap does a demand head part fit it fits on any 15 millimeter heavy pattern tap so where you have got a normal head part in you can change that to a demand tap as long as the body has not been reseated before there are then three different head parts there are two in chrome plated finish the one has got the blue indice and the other one's got the red indice doesn't matter which goes where as long as you put the red where it's hot and blue where it's cold and then you have the KM 9.202 the rough body one and that is only in blue your metering taps 
they have a unique head part that doesn't fit anywhere else and you can either replace the whole head part or the bottom seat ceiling area which is the CKM 9.290. Your ceramic cartridges are the two that you use mostly are the flat base and raised base 35 millimeter and you can see the flat base up at the top the raised base at the bottom and you can see why it's called a raised base because it's got that extra section at the bottom and then on the left hand side the one that's green and red that is the same 35 millimeter cartridge available in flat or raised base but the difference being that red is a loose ring which does limiting of the blend so you can turn it so that you do not get complete hot water there will always be some cold water mixing with it so that's just a little safety feature and then where that allen key is on there's an adjustment screw so the tap doesn't open completely if you have a situation where the water is splashing out of the basin then you can adjust it so that the tap cannot open fully and you do not get that full jet of water on your junior flush masters anything that can wear or can get damaged is available as a spares item the one that i want to bring your attention to is that one there you see the lever and it's shown with an elbow that's to change the valve into a paraplegic installation you have to use the elbow with it because if you just put the handle on that long lever is then going to point to the front and going to stab the person in the back so you need to turn the valve through 90 degrees to be able to put or to use your paraplegic lever on the inside also you have two different pistons the one for the toilet and the one for the urinal the difference being there where that piston or diaphragm nut is those are the two different looking ones you'll see the top one has got little wings on it and that is the toilet one it allows for more water to flow while it is busy flushing giving you a longer flush and then the other one is a smaller it restricts the flow and gives you a short flush this one is the old shower unit the metering shower unit km100 as I say it's the old one the new one now looks like that and you can see the obvious differences that section that is nice and colored the gold section that is a spares item C minus KM 9.11 and it is also retrofitable on the old unit you'll see the old unit has got that rocker so all you need to do is to cut that off and then where that button is in you loosen it and replace it with a new one and you've upgraded your valve to the new scenario the standard flush master also everything that moves and wears can be replaced you have your FM 1000 and that is already turned through 90 degrees so you'll see that that lever over there is available as a spares item without an elbow as I say it's already turned through 90 degrees and then also any rubber seal it comes in a kit you don't have to replace a whole piston or a whole push button assembly you can replace just all the o-rings so the metal parts remain and you can reuse them again then you have the FM 2000 which is exactly the same valve except you can see that it doesn't have the control stop onto it so it comes straight out to the front yeah the only difference is that top center you'll see the C FM 8.90 it's an extension piece to be used on all vol orchid pans where you have that installation the hole in the orchid pan is more to the front than any of the other valve and the other toilets so you have to put that extension piece in to line the flush pipes up properly on your electronic taps all your sensors the solenoid valves 
are all available as spares items you'll see on the right hand side there's also an extension cable so do not cut the existing wiring there are plug and play extensions you can extend the tap 10 meters away from the power source without a problem so if you use the taps existing one meter lead plus three three meter extensions that is the maximum that you can go power supplies the taps come with a battery box no batteries are supplied but then also available for them is the transformer box or a transformer box with a battery in it which is where you don't have a UPS backup you also have your two remotes the ELX8B which is your 13 key remote which works on everything except the soap dispensers we then start with the first geyser valve the quick flow closey valve and there are two main thing or three main things that are available as spares items the first one is the diaphragm which fits over there you can replace that on its own or you can repair the whole kit which is that whole center piston section and you get the diaphragm valve the diaphragm rubber with it on its own then also is the closey filter assembly and that you can replace on its own the bottom one the repair kit for the closey is the 100 kPa one the, the PA 1.10 is the 400 kPa and the 1.10 L is the low pressure 100 and 200 kPa kit on the master flow there are two main things that you can change the first one is your diaphragm and the other one is the cartridge you get two cartridges the PA 3.832 is for your 400 kPa and the 862 is for your 600 kPa valve on the master flow 2 the easiest one to change is all the different cartridges they all fit on the same body so you just have your different pressure ratings 100 200 300 and 400 kPa and you can interchange them as you wish if you have any further questions or need more details by all means call our after sales support department on 0861 21 21 21 and they would love to help you thank you very much for the attention